everyone, we got an exciting video for today. We got some brand new Echoes of Wisdom footage of the Elden Volcano area. And on top of that, we have a preview of Tears of the Kingdom Masterworks that's coming out this week. We'll have a link down in the description so you can pre-order and buy Tears of the Kingdom Masterworks along with Echoes of Wisdom as well. Heck, maybe a link you pops up in the chat for you to do that. I have no idea. We're part of this YouTube shopping thing. I don't really get it. Doesn't matter. Anyways, first we're going to focus on what's most exciting to me, and that is brand new footage for the all-new Zelda game coming next month. Now, the last video we did on Echoes of Wisdom went over brand new footage of the Faron Wetlands region. You're seeing a little bit of it right now. Obviously, go watch that video for the full breakdown. There's audio for the area. One of the first times we've heard real audio for the game, so that's kind of cool. And the same is true today with the Elden Volcano area. There's a lot of audio and stuff we're going to hear for that as well. Timestamps down below to skip between the uh, you know the Echoes of Wisdom stuff and the Tears of the Kingdom stuff. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Uh, but before we dive into the brand new Echoes of Wisdom footage, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 150,000 subscribers. If you're enjoying all the Zelda coverage, the Switch 2 stuff and everything in between. Oh, and then on top of that, why not drop a like on the video if we can crush it, crush that like button. You get a thousand likes in 24 hours, you're going to unlock something special that might involve a giveaway. We'll see. Uh, but beyond that, oh boy, guys. Oh boy. I want to hear your comments down below on what excites you the most about Echoes of Wisdom. All right, let's get right into the footage over here. It comes from Nintendo UK saying, home to the rock munching Goron tribe, the Elden Volcano region is dominated by daunting cliffs and scorching lava flows. Let's go ahead and full screen this bad boy for you and give you the full audio experience and then we'll break it down. Alright, so that's the footage. We're going to bring it right back now and kind of break down some stuff that I noticed here. Going in, we obviously have this new uh, little tinier Goron here, Kid Goron, uh, just looking all, I don't know, kind of angry or upset a little bit, but then they all sort of have that same sort of, huh? Like, that's just the way Gorons look. They literally make that noise. Uh, we got the hot springs here. There's actually a little character right here. I don't know who this is. This looks like a new character we haven't seen before down here, right below the Elden Volcano sign. Uh, it, it's, I don't know, they got like a Viking-style hat on. They appear to be sitting. And yeah, these look like the hot springs like we had in Breath of the Wild. Haven't seen any Gorons or anyone in the hot springs yet, uh, but that would be interesting if we do happen to see that at some point in the game. Here we see a wider shot of what we saw in prior footage and screenshots. Uh, you see the same enemies here with the chest. Uh, you'll see up here what looks like the entrance to Goron City and the walls. We'll get a closer look at this in a moment. And then the flags of flying the Goron banner. Uh, pretty interesting here. Uh, we'll get into the next scene. And here, I f the thing I find most interesting is this metal ball thing down here. Uh, it appears to be in the dead center of one of the rifts, but the rift didn't swallow it. So I find that to be interesting. In addition, if you look in the rift, there seems to be objects in the rift like this that are pieces of wall or ground or something inside the rift. Now, we do know we actually do get to go inside the rifts. I'm curious how th that might play a role in any of this. As we move on, we see those raising and, and lowering platforms, plus a boulder falling from the ceiling. Seems to be something that probably happens pretty frequently uh, in Echoes of Wisdom. Also, I just noticed uh, we clearly use that that bond ability to move this rock over to here. I just just noticed that we clearly must move that over there for that lava pillar. All right, moving on here, we see uh, where we have these enemies that we've seen already. But then we know this area is like not full lava, but you can walk on it, but it'll light you on fire. And we saw in prior footage off the official website, you can actually use uh, echoes like water blocks or wind gusts to put the flame out on yourself if you do step on that area. Uh, next up is this area here. We see the Zalfos and some other enemies uh, doing their thing. Octoroks, all that. You know, looking pretty cool. I really like this area. I don't know if this is a dungeon or if this is just traversing, you know, Elden Volcano rather than it being a dungeon. Or is Elden Volcano itself a dungeon? I, 
I guess we'll find out once we get more information on the game. Here we're seeing that entrance area where we saw like the metal walls that we, we were showing before. We're going to see the entrance here. Now we've seen this go around before uh, and the smoke coming out. But if you notice, boom, we have another go around directly uh, to our left, you know, the right of the entryway. And yeah, they have like a bandana tied around their neck. I think that's kind of neat. A different sort of hairstyle. One thing I like is in this art style, they have really given every character like their own unique look and style. And I really do appreciate little touches like that because it helps each character basically be their own, you know, thing in this world. Uh, there was a little chain thing there for a second. Uh, go back here a bit. Right here, this is probably a bridge, and that's probably like a, a chain that you, you know, kind of holds the bridge together. That's what I'm presuming anyways. We don't have a wider look at it. There's also one over here on the right as well. Um, now here is really cool. We get to look at an enemy in the game for the first time. Uh, these enemies are called Zero. A very interesting enemy type. They drop bombs, as you're going to see here. This one, boot, see, it spit it out its mouth. Now, this is where the footage ends, and this will probably be the end of the platform that we saw earlier, so this is probably that same room with the rift. Uh, but these enemies are quite fascinating, and I, I want to give you guys a little background and history on these enemies because I, I just think they're really cool. They, they haven't been around in a lot of games, but on the timeline they're on, they're actually quite uh, normal. Uh, you see over here on the Zelda wiki uh, that this enemy, the Zero, has appeared in A Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, and Link Between Worlds. Now they should amend that and throw Echoes of Wisdom in as well. But what I find interesting is their normal habitats have been the Ice Lake, Plains of Rune, the Yukuku Prairie, Martha's Bay, Taltal Heights, Face Shrine, and Low Rule. Uh, not a volcano area. So this is the first time we've really had them in a volcano area. Might make sense since we use a lot of bombs to blow up rocks in volcano areas. But uh, I wonder if we're going to be able to make echoes of these because, uh, you know, we can make echoes of other enemies, so why not these ones? Uh, so I just find it to be pretty interesting. And, you know, they're, they're one of the more unique enemy types in Zelda that we just don't really get to see very often. So personally, I'm just really happy to have these enemy types back uh, because before that, well, we just hadn't seen them in forever. Now, uh, we have some new footage for the Tears of the Kingdom Master stuff to get into, but I want to actually focus first on the new official art that was posted over on the Zelda Twitter. So we have two pieces of art to look at here. First is Ganon, just looking ominous and awesome as always. Uh, what a badass he appears to be pretty much all the time. And then we have, yeah, yeah, we have Link. Yeah, it's the look from the official art, but now we have the full render. Pretty cool. Honestly, uh, I'm very pleased, like very, very pleased with how the art has been turning out in this game. Uh, but we need to go ahead and go through uh, the Masterwork stuff. It releases on Friday, and we have this video provided by Nintendo teasing it. So let's just kind of go through this quickly. It's a couple minutes. I'll pause here and there uh, just for you know, just because I want to look at some things. Because I, I, I just find all this official art and, and new details to be awesome. So this is the Tears of the Kingdom Masterworks book. Yes, it's a book you can purchase. Link down in the description. So this is what the book's going to look like on the outside. But then we got to get into the inside. Then we got to get into the inside. And, oh man. Oh man, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. There's the different depicting art. Trying to catch Zelda. Oh, it keeps going. Oh, we're falling in. We're falling. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this. We could have had, we could have had a Sky Island like this. They conceptualized a Sky Island like this. And we just never got one. It just never happened. I feel like we're really missing out. Uh, but it keeps going here. It keeps going here. We got Link doing his thing. Different arm stuff. Different designs. Uh, wait till you see this. A little rainbow arm action. Apparently, at one point, they thought about using kind of rainbowish colors. They obviously decided against that. Maybe because it didn't look as ominous or as bad. Maybe it looked a little like, oh, hey, I'm kind of fruit of the loom over here. But, uh... Going on, now we get some Master Sword coming up here next. We're going to show off some Master Sword designs and different things that they were looking at. Most of this stuff made it into the final game, so that's pretty cool. Now, uh, they, got, they, got some, they got some cool stuff in here. Uh, some Zelda stuff. Look, Zelda looks good. Can we just... Between Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, I think this is my favorite Zelda design. Uh, I, I just... They did a really great job with Zelda in these modern games. Obviously, we see Raru and Sonya doing their thing. Next up, we see a little look at Ganondorf's design here. Pretty much what we see in here is what, what's in the game. It's pretty awesome. Uh -huh. 
But there's a really cool piece of art right towards the end. This is Hyrule Castle here. Uh, right towards the end, there's this really amazing piece of art. You guys got to see. You guys got to see this. It's one of the coolest things uh, I've seen in a long time. Oh, man, we got the map room and we got, you know, where Ganondorf is being held. Oh, man. Just just get ready for this art. It is so cool. Oh, man. So, yeah, now you're seeing, you know, where they're talking about some of the story and the ideas and individual characters. But the history. This history section. Well, and this is what's going to fascinate people the most for, like, timeline theories and trying to figure things out. Because we're going to learn new fact-based things about Ganon. You see, kind of see, like, a timeline of events there. But this art. Oh, my gosh. Just wait. Wait till they fully zoom out. This is one of the most glorious pieces of official art I I've ever seen. Look at this. This is just... Guys, I'm going to miss this era, man. Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. Echoes of Wisdom, I feel like, is part of that era. Age of Calamity as well. I'm going to miss this era of Zelda games. This art, it just, it, it, it just represents so much to me. Like, this is how many people... If you look at all of this, these are all the characters that were needed to finally defeat Ganondorf. Like, yeah, Link's at the lead. Link, Link, Link's the one that delivers the blow. But without all these people on screen, we cannot defeat Ganondorf. I mean, just, just think about how powerful he has to be to need all of those people just to defeat him. Uh, just wild, man. Absolutely wild. Um, just like the games themselves. I, I, I mean this. I know we're not done with the era yet because Echoes of Wisdom feels like it's part of the era. Whether or not it really is, I don't know. But, man, I'm going to miss it. Like, this art, I just can't. I can't stop staring at it. i got to make this like the background on my computer or something. This is just awesome. Um, man, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nintendo Robo Jets from Nintendo Pride. I'm just kind of geeking out over Zelda over here. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Because <laughs> the wisdom's next one.